today I'm going to be solving some TMUA style problems, but this time they're not coming from me. They're coming from this website, tmuaguru.com. So I've not used this website before, but um, supposedly they create a bunch of TMUA style problems, and I'll be giving a few of them a go. Um, so we're just going to dive straight in. Um, I'm going to choose a bunch of random topics here and see how this goes. I think you can just choose some, and supposedly questions on that topic will come up, and we'll see how this goes. I'll do a few problems, see if it's interesting, and we'll go from there. Um, so finding that uh, we want to find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals a half x squared and the line y equals minus x and the vertical lines x equals 1 and x equals 3. Uh, I'm going to do this by drawing a sketch. So uh, x squared or half x squared between 1 and 3. Uh, if I put that there, so x squared or half x squared will look something like this parabola and uh, y equals minus x. Well, that's going to look something like that. So I can see very nicely they don't intersect. And um, a nice little theorem I like to use when we're trying to find the area bounded between two curves um, is the area is simply oops, that way. It's simply going to be the integral from the lower limit to the upper limit of the top curve minus the bottom curve. So you can kind of ignore the fact that they go beneath the axes. You can kind of ignore where the axes are if you use this theorem. Um, so the top curve here is the half x squared. And the bottom curve is the minus x curve. And I'm simply going to find this integral uh, and evaluate this. And this is hopefully should be pretty straightforward. Um, so this will be what? 1 sixth x cubed um, plus a half x squared. And that's from uh, 3 to 1 or 1 to 3. Uh, okay, nothing too exciting here. I'm just going to plug this in. So when I plug in 3, well, one of the 3s is going to cancel with the 6 to give me a half times 9. So 9 over 2 plus 9 over 2. That's very nice. And then I'm going to subtract when I put in one, I get a sixth plus a half. So that's going to be four sixths, so two thirds. So I get nine minus two thirds, so that's going to be 25 over three. More interesting question. What is the value of the sum log base two, five over four, plus log base two, six over five, plus log base two, seven over six, and so on up to log base two, six, four over 63? Um, I should have probably said, do pause the video and give these problems a, a, a go um, as we go along. Um, so this one here, okay looks pretty self-explanatory we're going to use uh, the log rule uh, the addition rule which means we can kind of bring this all into one logarithm and turn it into a product so this is here log base two uh, five over four times six oh gosh it's times six over five um times seven over six times blah 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 all the way up to 64 over 63 and this is a bit like a telescoping product uh, the five cancels with that five the six cancels that six seven cancels with that seven and so on the, this term here will be a 63 over 62, so 63 will cancel with that 63.